word. Do you guys ever, when you're walking the streets or sitting in a cafe or whatever, look at couples and like tilt your head and kind of go, hmm, what an unlikely couple that is. Yes. <laughs> what about you? Frequently. When you're people watching. Or do you ever like, do you think that couples tend to be similar to each other in terms of like lifestyle? Like, let's say one no. likes being at the gym. Would you look at the other and go, oh, yeah, they kind of match. Or they don't match. No, I mainly look at couples if, let's say the female is like ridiculously tall and the male is like ridiculously short. Mm -hmm. And that's when that's when I think that's a bit of an odd couple. He needs to get a stepladder to kiss her. <laughs> yeah. What if it's the other way around? How often do you see that, CJ? I, I've seen it a few times, to be honest. If you're like a really tall female and a very short man, like shorter than me, and I'll be like, man, that's like she likes short guys. Good on her. Yeah, I <laughs> my my experience with tall women is they either like taller than them or really short like the, the oh generally like in between <laughs> really what? Yes. i'm not saying it's impossible but it's that's what i've witnessed so uh, this is sydney woman aussie woman sienna kira and she's been copping a bit of flack recently because she was i guess watching something online uh it's a sitcom called just do nothing I think I've heard of it, but I've not seen it. I'm not sure. And she noticed this British actor, George Keywood, after seeing him in the sitcom. And she was like, oh, he's a bit of all right. And she messaged him. She popped up in it. She slid in his DMs. And he basically pursued her after that. <laughs> uh, they kind of, I guess, were talking. And she ended up going to England uh, and has basically moved there permanently now to be with him. They are engaged. They have a son together. And she shares her life a little bit on TikTok now. But she has basically got a lot of negative comments because of how they look together. And because she is thin and, like, pretty. And he is maybe, what's it, grossly obese is the word, maybe? I'm not sure. I thought it was mob isn't Morbid. It morbidly I'm obese? like, what's the word? Morbidly obese. Morbidly. And they're basically always saying he's punching above his weight or do you even find him attractive? Or if you love him so much you'd you'd um you'd make him lose weight and all this and that. Like everything's like negative. Like are you just why are you with him? Like what are you after? Type thing. And she's basically had to defend their relationship defend him and say i actually do find him hot and there's nothing wrong with him and he's had to sort of go on and say i actually have no health conditions and you know leave me alone type thing have a look at the couple can you send it i'll send you i'll send you this one i i uh just just from her like her perspective of trying to defend her relationship she she can go OG, she can go old school, and just like not interact with the internet. Like yeah, she can, yeah, she, I wouldn't have even bothered. She can like just until like like you know when when you're at the party and like no one wants you to be there, you don't hang around at the party, do you? You sort of just leave. Yeah. So you can just leave the internet for a bit. And not just that, like people commenting because they don't find him attractive, but everyone finds everyone finds something attractive about someone. Yeah, I guess. that's right. So, how did you, how did we, we all find we we all find different things? How attractive. did you deal with it, Ems? Like dealing with all the questions that you, your parents and your family and friends when you hooked up with me? How did you <laughs> <laughs> how did you deal with all the hate? Oh man! Yeah, like like you, you can do so much better, Emma. Why did you go to? <laughs> <laughs> No, but yeah, like I don't know. Leave him alone. Can, can I look at um yeah. see ex boyfriends? Who? Ooh. I want to see her ex boyfriends. 
Oh, okay. Who? Z what? I oh, can't. Um, I, I thought you said Sia, like the Sia, singer. the singer. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> It actually doesn't have any um, images of her ex-boyfriends. They didn't fit around the camera, mate. What can I say? They didn't... <laughs> what? They didn't fit in the shot. <laughs> she might just like big guys, man. Yeah, that's just cool. End of the day. Like, I, yeah, I know. Yeah. Some guys like big girls. Some girls like big guys. I know a few women Always that people, like big guys. Yeah. Yeah. That, like do they, you talk to them about it? Specifically like big guys. Oh. So what they, are the numbers? So they they <laughs> they like they like it from the physicality side, like they yeah. actually like something bigger to hold on to, to hug, to to lay yeah. on. Like they just prefer that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's just their thing. It's like cuddly and it's, safe, and yeah. Yeah. But this guy has do. a really nice eye color. I mean, I do, when I look at this, though, like, to me, there's liking big guys. This guy is big to the point where, and this is, this is, I, I know this is not a popular opinion, but, you know, it is what it is, and it's just the way I think. The celebration of love anyone, no matter what, comes to a detrimental point when it means, yeah, love them, but they're not going to be around for very long. Because mm. literally there is a correlation between, like, there's a reason it's called morbidly obese. That's a clinical term, not a socially di- di- uh, socially devised term. Like, mm. it actually impacts your health. A clinical term, is see, it? See, I come from a family where there's quite a few people in my family who have been morbidly obese. Yeah. Mm. And I understand there's a, quite a lot of health risk there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of diabetes, blood mm-hmm. pressure, like... Yeah. They all cholesterol. Then, then they're not gonna, yeah, cholesterol. They're not gonna live a long life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's unfortunate. So that that's where I don't, I don't buy the. If you love them, it doesn't matter because if you love them, you want them to be there. Like you want to be around them. Hmm. Hmm. It, it'd be like someone's. Oh, she's someone a singer and like a personal a trainer. Habit. That's the, to be honest, that's even worse because that means she's educated on this. That's what it says. It's not what worse that she's attracted to him. I don't mean that, but it's worse that he's in yeah, that shape when they're together. He, and they he might have a, have a health. That. He might. He might have a health. He might have a health issue which makes him put on weight. Like, Isn't there health issues? Like, yeah, like, there are. Pile on the kilos? Like the lymph, there lymph are, nodes and that. There's, Maybe. There's, there are health issues, yeah. but there's nothing... Uh, uh, I may be uneducated on this, but there's nothing that I'm aware of that is not overcomable. I know I made that word up, but like... <laughs> it's it's the sense of... it's it, To me, it's like if you have any health condition where it means... Just take diabetes, for example... If you have diabetes, you then, in order to survive, have to change your lifestyle. Like, you have to do things to cater for the fact that you have diabetes to make sure that you're healthy. If you don't, mm. you will die early. Like, that's just how it works. So, mm. it's the same if you if you have, like, an underactive thyroid or something like that that uh, oh, makes thyroid, you put that's on weight. The, right. Yeah. Then well, PCOS if you're a girl. adjust the way you live your life. Like it's not that it's going to be comfortable or the easiest thing, but it's what's going to keep you alive. Like that's what I don't. I, the reason that I'm not massive on the body positivity, like what CJ said, I completely agree with in terms of I don't know this guy's situation. I know nothing about him. I would never ever comment on him to his. The only reason I'm commenting on it is because it's, it's our article. Like, I would never comment on this person to their face or to anyone. I wouldn't make a judgment call about them. They, he, for all I know, he may be down 300 pounds from where he was. Like, I don't know his situation at the moment. Mm. I don't know anything about it. What I don't agree with is when people promote the idea of let people live their life, let them do what they want. Because I think that is, like, it's, we only do it in certain circumstances. Like, for example, if someone has a negative habit that affects their health for example like a, a a bad drug habit we don't go oh let them keep injecting heroin who cares it's what they want to do like we say no like put them into rehab this is bad for them 
Hmm. Like it's to me, your your weight in that sense is the same. It's the exact same thing. Like if you're constantly putting things into your body that are bad for your health, we need to fix that. Yeah. Otherwise, your health won't be an issue because you'll be dead. Like it's. <laughs> Yeah, but, but couldn't also him gaining weight be psychological as well? Like he's gone through things in his life and he finds comfort in eating? Couldn't taking heroin be psychological as well? Yes. Okay, I, I guess, I guess so, so, so what you're saying to overeating is like an addiction. It, I mean, there's there's many reasons. There's many reasons what, what it could be down to. But all I'm saying is, is that, that those reasons don't justify ignoring the problem. Like, it, that's what I think the... I don't think body positivity promotes this. I think people within body, body positivity promote this. This ignorance to the issue. Like, <laughs> there's there's two sides to body positivity. One being, don't judge, don't cast um, aspersions on people. Like, don't, don't be negative to people because you don't know the situation. You don't know what's going on. And I completely agree with that. But the other side of it, and I think it's the minority. Unfortunately, the minority are normally the loudest. I think it's the minority that say, let people do what they want. It's their body. And I think that's the wrong attitude to have because I think that let people do what they want allows people to do negative things to themselves as well as to other people. But in this circumstance, it allows them to do negative things to yourself. And if you care about someone, you don't let people do what they want. You don't try and change who they are fundamentally. But if there's something that is detrimental to themselves, you try and help them. Like, that is part of being a loving person. What What else is she saying? What else is she saying? What, how else is the... What else is happening in the story there? Uh, they basically just do some videos, and he's been in some of the videos saying, hitting back about his weight and how he has no health issues and, you know... But how, how old is he at the moment? Said, I do I like know. big guys, yeah. Um, I find him really hot. She said, I don't often respond to the hate, but when I do, I assure people that we do, in fact, love each other. Yeah, so he said, I'm not diabetic. I don't have any health issues at all. His doctor said he was in perfect health and he does have a high BMI, but he doesn't care. He's perfectly fine. My health is good. I'm going to live a long time to see my son grow old. Let's face it, we all die after 60 anyway. That's what he said. He's, He's 27. Hmm. See, he's still quite, he's still quite young to be seeing the health issues. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, they they just start coming in in the, in the 30s. That's the immortal yeah. mentality. That uh, just uh, it's general among young people, not the B side word.